Hey guys, I got a new video for you today, and we're gonna be looking at a new pair of glasses that I received as a Christmas present. Um, when I first saw that this model was being released, I got pretty excited when I saw the pictures because it looked completely different from a lot of the frames that Oakley has been putting out, in the sense that they added some uh, new features to the frame itself because of what this frame's intended purpose is for. Now this is the Oakley Clifton, and uh, this particular one, uh, here we go, this particular one is in the matte black frame with the prism snow black lens. Now, um, that's actually the first time that I've had any pair of glasses with the prism snow black. I don't know if they make other pairs, but prism snow black is supposed to be one of the darkest lenses that you can actually get uh, from Oakley. It actually has a... Um, uh, light transformation of 6%, which is fairly, fairly dark. Uh, obviously, these glasses, uh, the design purpose are for mountaineering. So you're going to want something really dark so that it can block off the glare and stuff like that from um, from the snow as the sun uh, you know, bounces off the snow. So let's go ahead and open up the box and take a look at the glasses themselves. Now, I was not expecting them to come in a case, and uh, I was pretty surprised and pretty happy, I should say, when I saw that they did. But um, I think it's because, again, the purpose that these glasses have, um, they want to make sure that they are protected if you're going to be carrying them for mountaineering and things like that. So they include the case, which is really nice. Uh, as you open up the case inside, you have a couple things. You have the glasses inside of this microfiber case or this microfiber bag. And then you have um, this leash. Now, this is really cool, too. Again, it goes back to what I mentioned originally, the purpose of these glasses. Um, if you're going to be wearing them for mountaineering, you want to make sure that um, they are attached to you and they're not falling off or anything like that. So the leash is going to provide you, um, you know, that extra level of, uh, of um, uh, you know, protection or, or not protection, but uh, the extra level of comfort that you're not going to lose them or they'll be harder to lose. So the leash here is actually a coated woven steel leash and it's about 20 inches. So this is actually the second... Um, frame that Oakley has come out with that uses this particular leash. The first one is the split shot, which is more of a fishing um, type frame. So it's kind of more designed for fishing. So uh, it's obviously, it would make sense that it would have a leash like this. So I'll set that off to the side and we'll take a look at it a little bit later. So let's take a look at the glasses. Actually, let's take a look at the microfiber bag first because it is a little bit different as well. Now, uh, this is the first time that I've had this type of microfiber bag. Uh, I don't know of any other models, maybe the split shot does come with it, but um, what I like is that it's actually very thick. It's a thick um, uh, microfiber bag. Uh, I know sometimes these bags tend to be kind of thin. This one is actually very thick, and I think it's because it has this kind of extra pocket right in the front here and this pocket runs this whole length right here now um, that's really cool i like the fact that they included that because of some of the um the different parts and pieces of the glasses are able to be removed so it actually gives you a place to store them that way if uh if you still want to store the glasses inside of the bag without those pieces in it they're not going to be kind of rubbing against each other or anything like that the same thing with the leash if you want to store it on the outside so it's not uh, scratching the lenses or anything like that you can do that in the back so that's really cool that they did include that bag with the larger pocket in the front uh, here are the glasses themselves again this is the matte black frame with the prism snow black lenses now this is a prism lens so you see the little prism logo there and it says snow and then on the other side, it says uh, it's checked off that it is prescription ready because you can do prescription on these. Uh, and this one is not polarized. If it were polarized, the little P would be checked off on there. So let's go ahead and take these um, little stickers off here. And we'll take a look at the glasses themselves. So as I open up the, the stems here, you can actually see these pieces right here. Now these are what Oakley is calling side shields. So again, this being a mountaineering type frame, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that there's no glare and no light coming in from the sides. So these shields actually um, kind of lock in place. There you go. 
and this one here. And that allows for no glare, no sun, or anything coming in from the sides, which is really nice. You're not going to get any wind or anything like that. Now, these are um, rubber. I would venture to say that they are unobtainium. Um, I figured they use unobtainium in the nose bombs there, so I figured they would use it also in the uh, side shields here. But uh, I'm not 100% sure. The, the website didn't really say what they were made out of. Now, um, on the center portion right here over the bridge, you have what's also called a bridge bridge blocker. Now uh, again this is another piece of rubber that is basically sealing the area right on top and below the bridge that way you're not getting any glare any any wind or anything like that in there again the the purpose of these glasses are to wear them for mountaineering and you want to make sure that you're not getting any glare any um, wind or anything like that in your eyes and I think this model definitely does a really good job at doing that. It's completely blocked off. You're not going to get anything coming in there and you're good to go. So again, this is a matte black frame, uh, just a regular frame. It doesn't have any unobtainium on the um, end of the stems here over your ears or anything like that, but you do get it on the nose portion right there and then on the bridge blocker as well. This is a fairly round lens with the exception of the area right here where the nose bridge is that kind of tapers down right there. So again, if you're uh, not a fan of round lenses, then you know just keep that in mind. Now, in the back here, you do have the area where the leash is going to um, attach, and basically all you do is just snap it open like that, and there's a little hook that the leash will hook onto. Let's go ahead and show you guys that. Now, one thing that I did want to mention, and it's one of the things that I wish they um, kind of did a little bit different, is the end of the leash here. So, as I mentioned already, the leash is a coated woven steel. So um, it is woven steel and it's kind of coated, so it's not gonna you know um, rub rub against your neck or anything like that. But the end right here is um, it's kind of like a nylon thread, all right? It's very thin nylon thread, and it's designed to go into the little hooks right there. Now this, um, I guess, I would have to see after use, uh, especially with something like this. Um, if you're going to be rough on them or something like that, if it's going to hold up, putting it on, taking it off and stuff like that. I just wish they would have done those ends in the um, coated woven steel as well. Um, I don't know if, if, if they, it would have been large enough to be, or too large to be able to go into the little areas here. But uh, again, that's just something that I noticed. So you open this up, it has a little hook right there. You just hook the end and then close it. And then see right, right at the bottom there, it has a little channel where it's going to come out of. See if we can make that out. There you go. And then you just do the same thing on the other side. Open it up. And you hook it down like that. And then you close it up. And there you go. Now you have your leash attached to the end of your glasses. Again, it gives you a little bit more security. Uh, and then you have the little portion right here, which is also rubber. This is the area that would go um, against your neck and the back if these are hanging down or anything like that. So I like the fact that they did include that to make it a little bit more comfortable, which is really cool. So again, to remove it fairly easy, just open it up, take it out, and open that one, take it off. And there you go. Now you can go ahead and um, stow it, you know, just kind of wrap it back up and put it in the front of the microfiber bag there in that larger pocket, which is really cool. Now, um, again, these are uh, designed for that particular purpose, but if you wanted to use these and maybe not use the side shields and the bridge blocker, those are removable, which is really cool. So uh, very easy to do. You just kind of close it down like that, and then you pinch it together. It's under kind of with my pressure, so you just pinch it together and actually comes loose, as you guys see there. So these, again, you can go ahead and store in the front of the microfiber bag there. And then the bridge blocker here, all you have to do is kind of pull back on it. And it's kind of pressure fitted in there and just, it'll come right off. And now you have kind of more of a regular looking frame. Again, this is an O matter frame. So it's gonna be very lightweight. Um, I like the uh, the icons here in Chrome. They look really cool. Again, this is the matte black frame. The Clifton is available in a wide variety of colors, uh, both in the frame and the lenses. They have some really cool um, colors that and color combinations that they did. So if, uh, if this is a frame that you're interested in, but maybe you want something a little bit different than the black, you can go ahead and check it out and, and see the different colors that are available. I don't know if you guys noticed there, it's very easy to put back in. There's a little hole right there that um, it'll fit into, and then you just press it down, and it's pressure fitted, and then just kind of snap it back in place. And then to put the bridge blocker, all you have to do is just kind of put it in, and 
it snaps back in place right there. So very, very easy to put back on. Again, if you want to store them in the front of the microfiber bag and then put them on whenever you need it, take them off when you don't, you can go ahead and do that. Now, uh, what I'll do is I'll go ahead and turn the camera around, throw these on so you guys can see what they look like, and uh, we'll talk a little bit more about them. All right, guys, so I'm going to go ahead and throw these on so you guys can see what they look like. So, again, this is the Clifton in the matte black frame with the prism snow black lenses. So here you go. Um, I have the um, the side shield and the bridge blocker on just so you guys can see what that looks like. Again, I'm not getting any light whatsoever coming in from the sides. Um, if it was a windy day, um, I would you know venture to guess that these would keep out the, the wind as well. So again, that's its intended purposes or its intended purpose. Um, I know one question that a lot of people ask with the um, prism snow black lenses is, um, are you able to see your eyes? And these do have an iridium coating on the lenses so it's a mirror coating on there so you're not able to see the eyes whatsoever i don't know if you guys can make that out but even if, you, if you're out in the sun um you know they, they do a great job at uh not showing your eyes i know a lot of people tend to, to ask that question uh, again it's a six percent um light transmission it's increased contrast so it's going to make everything look brighter uh it's actually starts out as a uh the base is a rose lens so um it, this does have a slightly red tint to it uh both the lens and as you're looking through it but again from you know from using it on a regular basis you you're not going to be able to tell the difference and it's going to be a really really comfortable um, daily wear i would say so um again if you're not comfortable using the side shields or the bridge blocker you are able to remove those so i'll go ahead and take them off so you guys can see what they look like again they just kind of pop right off i just pop the bridge blocker there um let's uh, close the side shields take that one off Take that one off. Now I'll go ahead and put on the Clifton without those uh, extra pieces, and this is what it would look like. Again, it's a fairly round lens, so if you're not comfortable with that shape of lenses, then just keep that in mind. But now you you do see a little bit of a gap right here on the sides uh, because again, it's a it's fairly thin stems right there, um, and there there isn't a lot of a wrap to the frame. Um, it does have a slight wrap to it, but not a lot. So you are going to get uh, some daylight coming in from the sides if you remove those side shields. Um, uh, I'll go ahead and throw them back on and uh, they only go in one direction because they have the cutouts for the stems where they fit in. So just keep that in mind if, um, if they're not locking in place or anything like that, it's probably because you're trying to put the opposite side in. So there's the two side shields and then I'll throw on the bridge blocker. And then what I'll do is um, I'll also put on the leash so you guys can see what that looks like. Again, very, very easy to do. Just kind of snap it in place there. Um, and then it has a little cutout at the bottom where the um, little piece actually fits out of. So we'll do that. And then all you have to do is just kind of throw it over your neck like that and put on the glasses. And again, it gives you that extra level of security. That way if, uh, if you were to take off your glasses, um, it's just gonna hang right there around your neck. And then as you put them back on, there it is. It just kind of hangs out the back. Again, it's just like any other type of leash that you've probably seen before in other uh, frames or other styles. And again, this leash is available also on the split shot, which is more of a fishing specific frame from Oakley. So uh, all in all, I think the Clifton is a really awesome pair. I, I think it looks really cool. It's very different from uh, some of the things that are that Oakley was putting out, but I know that they're starting to do uh, a lot of this style. So these round lenses, with some of their other frames. So um, this really caught my eye and I was glad I was able to pick it up uh, because it just looks different. Um, I like I like uh, different. That's pretty much what Oakley's all about. And I think this is kind of going back to um, some of the, the pairs that I fell in love with from Oakley. And that's why I decided to to ask for it and um, I received it for Christmas. So there it is. Again, this is the Oakley Clifton in the matte black with the prism snow uh, black lenses. Let me know if you guys have any questions. Thanks.